So last month we sold over $5,800 worth of stuff on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And I'm gonna show you the details and the exact figures and screenshots right now. Hey guys, it's Eileen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do our first ever reseller, whoa, reseller income report. It's basically just gonna be a sales report to tell you what we sold, how much we sold, how many items we sold, all the details about what we sold in June. So um, a lot of people are weird about giving exact figures, about talking about money, and I have never been that way. I've always been happy to share um, and be super transparent. So hopefully you appreciate that because I'm about to give you all our numbers for June. So what is included in this um, income report will be our sales for June 2019 for eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So this is not gonna include um, any freelancing, blogging, YouTube, um, local sales, which we did do quite a bit in local sales last month, that kind of stuff, or even the uh, rental income from our rental property. Um, this is solely just kind of a sales report for what we sold online, pretty much selling mostly used items on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So if you wanna find out the details, stay tuned. All right, so before we talk about the money, um, let's talk about the work that in went into it because it really is work. It does take time, it does take effort to make money online. Um, a lot of people kind of will tell you that you can do this with no effort at all, but it is not the case, or maybe they make it seem that way. They might not tell you that it takes no effort, but it might seem that way when you just see these numbers and you don't see the work that went into it. So um, let me tell you how much work we put in in June. So we actually listed 301 new items on eBay. eBay is our main source of reselling income. So we listed just over 300 items. My goal was over 400, which I didn't meet, but I was still very consistent compared to how I usually am as far as listing items on eBay. So our sales are definitely better this month than last month because of that. So um, we did 100, or 100, 301 new items on eBay, fresh new listings. I also cross-posted 62 items to Posh and Mercari, mostly Poshmark. Um, if I say Posh, I mean Poshmark. I'm just used to calling it Posh. So um, mostly Poshmark, a few things on Mercari, not really that much. Um, and you can see that 62 items, that's not too many list new listings on those platforms. So we didn't sell that much on those platforms this month. Um, and the total time, which is a total estimate, that we spent on reselling this month for our online reselling business, not including local sales or anything like that, is about 80 hours for the month of June. So almost give or take like 20 hours a week. And that is for my husband and I combined. We do this together. I source, I photo, and I come up with titles and pricing. My husband um, drafts the listings for me, puts them in inventory, and does all the shipping. So it's split pretty evenly. I would say that I spend like 60 or 70% of the time of that 20 hours a week working and then he spends the rest of the time working. Um, his is just a little bit quicker than sourcing and photoing take quite a while. So um, it might be a little bit more, a little bit less, but that's a general estimate using the software that we track our time with on our computer to see how often we're on the eBay or Poshmark websites. And then kind of just estimating how long it takes me to take photos and um, how much time I've spent sourcing. I usually only go sourcing once or twice a week, so that's pretty easy to figure out usually. So. Yeah, 80 hours over the course of June to make our reselling income. All right, so let's talk about our sales now. Um, I'm going to start with eBay and I will even show you a little screenshot while I'm talking about it. And so eBay, I'm gonna be looking over here at my screen, so sorry about that. Um, our sales for June on eBay were $5,417.07. We sold 193 items and our average sale price, including shipping is $28.07. I say including shipping because eBay just kind of includes that in their sales report that I use, and I'll show you the screenshot right here. Um, so you can see that that was the exact number that we made for June, and you can also see that that number is way up from May. You can see in that screenshot it says we're up about 70%, so we're doing a lot better. Um, and then on Poshmark, our sales for June were $357, and we sold 20 items. Our average sale price, not including shipping, since Poshmark doesn't include shipping um, in our sales. Um, was $17.85 and then we only sold one item on Mercari and it was $28 we, and so our average sale price was $28. Um, I think I maybe cross posted five things to Mercari last month so I'm not surprised that we only sold one item. Well, the total sales for June 2019 across all three platforms was $5,802.34 for a total of 219 items sold and shipped. 
Um, and then to give you guys kind of a reference, and also so that I can remember in the future when I watch this video, um, we ended out June with 775 active listings on eBay and with a total value of $27,144. And we have a total of 1,262 items in our inventory. Um, the reason that our inventory number is higher than our active listings is because some of those active listings have multiples, like multiple of the same shirt or whatever we have. So um, a little over 1,200 items. So that's basically how we ended up June on eBay. I don't really keep track of Mercari or Poshmark because it doesn't really matter that much. Um, eBay, as you can see, is our main source of reselling income, so I really track that closely. So as you can see, our sales from eBay uh, compared to last month are much, much higher. So why is that? That's because I was listing way more consistently. If you're on my email list, which you can subscribe to my email list down below, I email about once a week. Um, I sent out kind of a worksheet, a listing challenge worksheet. Let me see if I have it here. So this is the 30 day listing challenge worksheet. You can see that I definitely did not make it every single day, but I was listing pretty consistently, um, more so at the beginning of the month than at the end of the month when I kind of started to run out of inventory and I needed to go shopping. So I sent that out to my email list and a few of you guys joined me and said that you had great sales too and you were so much more productive when you had those little bubbles to fill out. Sometimes it's just about checking off items. I don't know if you're like me, but that's how I am. That is the biggest change we made from May to June is just listing more items more consistently. I also focused on sourcing better items. So that's why I didn't try to list 30 items. I only really tried to list like 15 items every day um, so that I was spending more time sourcing good stuff that was worth a little bit more or would sell a little bit faster rather than spending all my time listing and photoing and shipping and all that stuff. To be honest, May was slower than usual anyway, but we did increase by like so that is, um, I will actually show you a screenshot from GoDaddy keeping account here. It is what we use to track our income expenses for our business. And as you can see from the graph, our sales are our income. It's not just our sales, it's um, it doesn't include our rental income, anything else. Um, you can see our sales for June is way higher, but our expenses didn't go up that much. And that is the goal is to increase our sales, not increase our expenses. So um, we did really well in June. I'm really proud of that. And I forward, we are growing at a pretty steady pace. Um, we technically full-time any other full-time job um, for a little over a year now, but we um, are slowly tapering off our savings, which we saved up quite a bit. So we make this job, make this our full-time job, our full-time business. Um, so we are working on tapering off and steadily reducing the amount that we're taking from savings and increasing the amount we're taking we're doing really well. What is our plan for July? Normally, I would say our plan would be to continue listing consistently, even more consistently than last month, um, and to continue sourcing um, higher quality, faster selling items. But we are going on a six week road trip in September and October, and we will not be able to bring all of our inventory with me. Can you imagine us bringing 1200 pieces of inventory with us? It's not going to happen. So um, in July, I will still be listing consistently. My goal is 10 items a day. Some of these things will be items that I pull and relist because I really want to liquidate our store. We are going to be really reducing the number of items we have for sale, maybe down to like 50 items so that we can take that with us and we can keep an active eBay store. Even if it's only a little bit active, we don't want to put on vacation mode. We don't want to shut down. We want to show eBay that we're still active because it's really hard to get back up if you kind of stop um, being active in your eBay store. So um, we will be liquidating in June and really liquid not June, in July, and be really, really, really liquidating in August um, to try and move all of our inventory and hopefully cut it at least in half. And then we'll choose what we'll bring with us on our trip and also be sourcing a little bit as we drive across the country. Um, we're super excited and I think it's a really good opportunity for us. Who knows when we'll be able to do this again. So um, it's something that we're just kind of, we have faith and we're hoping everything goes well. Luckily, we have a couple of other income streams so um, we're working on building those as well so that we can make a little bit more money on the road than just those maybe 50, 60, 70 items that we bring with us. All right, so I hope that look into our sales for the month was helpful. Um, just so you know, if you have not started selling on eBay yet or if you feel like you need a little bit more guidance, I have a free eBay beginner course. I will link to that down below. It's just kind of giving you the basics and answering a lot of the questions that I get asked in my DMs on Instagram or emailed, um, stuff like that. So go ahead and sign up for that below. It's totally free. It's just an email course. It's um, five days and you'll get emails from me for five days um, with just the basics, which you need to get started. So if you want to get started on eBay, you can go ahead and do that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. 
Um, also, make sure you click that subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos from me. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I appreciate all of your support. I'll see you guys next time.